Hi guys, welcome back to Daily Diabetics. This week's theme is how we organize our supplies. And I apologize in advance because my supplies organization is not like interesting whatsoever. There's no like organization to it. It's all just put on a shelf. And then my insulin is in the butter department compartment in the fridge. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So here is a video of like, an overview of it so you know what I'm talking about. The bottom right is all my Omnipod stuff. I'm almost out. I just told my dad we need to order more. I have like not even a full box left, but I have like my little packs of pods, like in purses and bags and stuff. So I have enough to last enough to last me. So bottom right is Omnipod, and if you can see in the back those I've talked about it before. But I had the Omnipod Dash, never used it, had to send it back, so I just still have those pods. And then in the middle-ish, we have all of my Dexcom sensors. They, for the most part, are G6, but I have some G4s, G5 sites as well, just old ones that I never used. And then we have a little blue container, kind of like middle to the left. And it's full of just a bunch of random stuff, like honey things, little glucose packets, old glucose tablets. Um, there's another box somewhere. It has like all my old CGMs, uh, my old One Touch Ping. And by CGMs, I mean like the old Dexcom stuff. Um, just things I'm not using, don't want to throw away. I have old Dexcom transmitter in there that has a pump peel sticker on there in case I wanted to peel that off and put it on my now. Um, so just a lot of random stuff in that bucket to make it look organized. And then bottom left, I believe is my Omnipod, like the box of my Omnipod came on, came in with like the instruction manual and all of that jazz. We do have a lot more like random diabetes stuff, like alcohol swabs or wipes, whatever. Um, I have skin tack. There's like a bunch of old meters. But they're in a different cabinet and it's not organized. It's just a medicine cabinet with all of my supplies that I haven't used in years. We have syringes. Um, when I had, when I took Lantus and Novolog, no, not Lantus, Levamir. Anyways, Levamir? Yeah, it was Levamir and Novolog, I think. Anyways, when I was on shots and had the pen, I have like the cap syringes from that. Just a bunch of random stuff that I won't really probably ever use again, but we have just because we haven't thrown them away. Like the syringes we would probably keep just in case I ever needed them because my pins are expired, like the insulin in them is expired. We could probably throw those away. But yeah. So that's my organization. There really isn't much to it. If I wanted to get like super organized, I could take things out of the boxes and all that. But this system works for me. We get a package in the mail. I just take out the boxes and put them on the shelf and that's it. And insulin goes in the fridge and that's about it. So, sorry this is kind of boring. Um, it is nice to see how other people organize it. Like, there's so many different methods, so many different ways. So, I hope you enjoyed my lame way of putting boxes on a shelf. <laughs> um, also, if you're watching this video in real time, I apologize for how late this is in the day. I've been crazy busy, just got back in town, forgot today was Tuesday because my days were messed up. But if you're not watching in real time, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. I'm so thankful for you all. I love getting to connect with you all and relating to you all and all of that stuff. I will see you guys next week, hopefully on time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.